Jerry. Where are we going, Jerry? Hey, this is Parramatta Stadium overlooking the river. I've got my uh, EM1 again. Just going to take a few photos of Parramatta Stadium. It's uh, relatively new, it's been a couple of years now. They knocked down the old stadium, which has been there for like 20, 30 years, and built this monstrosity here. It's pretty big, it's pretty good. I'm coming here tonight, that's why I thought I'd do a little expose, see if I could take some photos of just the stadium. Gary and then tonight I'll watch Para and Manly play what I'll do I'll try and sneak my M1 and my 14 to 150 in maybe separate it uh, no, and then the security won't even know because you know you're not allowed to bring Anyone with a proper camera these days, um, they just think you're a professional for some stupid reason. People don't understand that the bloody phones these days are more powerful than these. But anyway, I think it's all to do with the Jerry. There it is there. It's all to do with the zoom lens. I think the iPhone can zoom in 50 times as far as this, but you know, they let the iPhone in. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the security don't even care anymore unless you bring a big bazooka because I've got the um, 100 to 400 I could probably sneak that in but I mean that'd be a bit obvious that you're trying to do something professional you know to sell photos or whatever but just as a hobby I just want to take photos of the football there it is there it's massive Jerry look how big it is Jerry! Yes, you're at Parramatta Stadium, Jerry. Yeah, Combank. I say it's Combank now. They bloody changed their name so many times. I think it was Bank West, wasn't it? Now it's Combank. Jerry. Take a photo, Jerry. You ready? I could have taken a photo there, but let's see here. Pattern there, you see the pattern? bit scared here because you're on private property and people get the shits even though you're not doing anything wrong every now and then security might go what are you doing are you a terrorist or something that's the way the world works these days looking for shapes and sharp edges and contrast I don't know what the hell I'm looking for but yeah it's very difficult it's very difficult unless you try and train your eye into looking for something that looks kind of cool and different you know if you can see the angles maybe or juxtaposition like always it's not easy I'm trying to see through the clutter Jerry clutter a lot of the uh, fill the frame always works everyone loves a fill the frame it's very arty farty you can only fill the frame so much before it gets a bit cliche and uh just fill the frame's really easy anyone can do it just fill the frame <laughs> great yeah i like that i think just there that that whole scene there kind of gives it a and the trees 
picture postcard. I'm not sure about those bins though. <laughs> hey Jerry, huh? you gotta, can you move those bins for me? The thing that I always try and do, I don't know why, but I saw it once when I was trying to, when I was reading about how to do photography. I think it might have even been in uh, Tony, Tony Northrup's um, PDF book. <laughs> Remember that? Um, is diagonals. You see there, the diagonal. Another composition trick is to divide the main subject and background uh, using a diagonal line. Somehow um, it gives a natural feel to the picture and, and it does work. Um, same also if you put the main subject anywhere on the diagonal line itself. And cut across the diagonal, doesn't matter what, it just gives you that symmetry. So there's a diagonal there. Yeah, I don't know if it looks good, but it's better than just wish wishy-washy. <laughs> I remember Ray Price, <laughs> that's when I was a kid, he played when I was a kid, the old Parramatta, they were the, uh, the electric eels back then, Parramatta, Magic, Brett Kenny, Peter Sterling, Ray Price, Neville Glover, yeah, Neville Glover, yeah. the old classics, the Parramatta backs, Peter Webb, Ray Price, they'll score again, they'll score again, Red Kenny goes in, Red Kenny scores Parramatta's fourth try, this is an amazing turn of events here, 24 to 18 is the score now, and I promise I won't come back with the goal kicking story again, you can work that one out for yourself, Ray Price, Red Kenny, Got inside Dale Shearer, tried to improve, and Phil Bailey cut him down. Manly are, uh, Parramatta are running hot here with the ball, but the Manly defence is... Jerry, this way. Jerry, you see the uh, Canon 5D, maybe? I don't know that the lens was old the old bazooka so the pro photographers use the Canon maybe that's all you need just the, the old 5D Mark IV maybe or the 1DX I don't know You buy tickets. How much are they now? You sure it's B? Oh, yeah, yeah. Gate. Yeah, printed yeah. on your ticket. Gate A. Usual. Stadium is a cashless venue. Well organised. <laughs> you must show your dress out better. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the nose bleeder seats. Uh, it was so high, uh, my nose started bleeding. You could not get a worse position to be taking photos, but <laughs> surprisingly, the Olympus was amazing. Uh, the stability 
was just incredible for such a long reach um, doing video mainly. Uh, premiership winning players. Oh yeah. Over the three, you know, the three that they won. From the 80s, yeah. From the 80s. That's when I was into it. Yeah, yeah. Brett Kenny, Ella, Nick Cronin. I used to like him because he was oh, the... Yeah. He died. Oh, yeah, he died. Oh, right. Back to World War II now. <laughs> For so far away, I was really impressed with the Olympus's reach. Imagine if you had the 75 to 300 lens. Um, that would be the perfect lens, actually, because it's discreet, small, and you could fit it in your pocket and you know get away getting into the ground. And you've got double the reach. So yeah, I, I mean, just for doing events like this, where it's discreet and portable and light and easy, the 75 to 300 would be perfect. What happened was my shutter speed was way too low because the ISO only goes to 6400 on auto ISO so I had to switch off auto ISO and bump up the ISO manually uh, while in shutter priority mode just to get speeds around 1250, 1500, uh, sometimes 2000 depending on what I wanted to do. A lot of the shots like the scrums um, they were okay because, you know, everyone's stationary or getting tackled. But when the ball's flying through the air or they're going in for a try, you need it around 2,000 speed. So I had to use DxO Prime to clean it all up, obviously. Okay, penalty there for high hair tackle. Oh, come on, ref, that's bullshit, mate. What did you just say to me? Sin bin for you, then. Oh bullshit, oh fuck is all. Hey Jerry, pull my leg. Okay, so I used Luminar Neo to edit the photos. Now I really didn't do much except for crop because there wasn't really much to do. It's just a sports photo. Because some of the earlier photos had a little bit of motion blur before I changed the ISO higher to get a higher shutter speed, um, there's this really cool tool called Super Sharp here. I'll show you, um, it's awesome, like if you have a punch in here, you see that guy's a little bit blurry, just from, you know, just a smidge, I mean it's acceptable, oh, I'd, I'd accept that, but if you want to make it super sharp, which is what this is, super sharp, um, you can go here, universal, do it all, or motion blur, I just choose motion blur, and I chose high, and it does all its um, Star Trek um, next generation, Oh, that looks crap. Okay, zoomed in, you can tell it's really weird. But from a normal view, without zooming in a thousand percent, which no, nobody ever does anyway, you can tell there, it does make it sharper. Okay, here's another one. Oh, look, it's not going to perform miracles. Uh, at the end of the day, um, you're the idiot who didn't have the highest shutter speed, so... <laughs> I mean that, motion blur, high, alright there you go, so from a distance, from a distance, no, I mean not too bad, let's see what the hell it did, my god, it looks like mosaic, actually, I don't recommend using high, use middle or low, and use universal. It's way, way better. So, yeah. Hot tip. Hot luminar tip. Stay away from high, because you end up looking like <laughs> plastic.
Munster, Peter Sterling. Canterbury's left, Parramatta's right as it goes out to Kenny. Kenny and Sterling, the run around, and there's Cronin. Cronin to Growth. Growth. Mortimer's after him. Growth beats Mortimer. Kenny's waving to him on the inside. Will he pass the ball? There's Kenny with it now. Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. Oh, it's, a, it's no try. It's a penalty for a double movement. 